Chickadee Reel is in D major. It was written by Lynn Ellen Kaiser. It's based on the Chickadee Call. It's got a lot of syncopation in it. So in that initial playthrough, if you want, go back and watch it and look. And there's a lot of points where the guitar is going to play something and you're not. So you're bouncing off the guitar or the bass or whatever your background is. And I'll show you a little bit more as we go. So you're gonna start on a D chord. Uh, if you need to orient yourself, this is, this is my D box here. This is kind of my middle D. So you're gonna start on this D chord up here. So you're gonna start on your A, go around that mark, and you can either go down here to your D mark or over to your D over here. So you're gonna go around and then above. Your notes are A, F sharp, D. This is one of those points where you're bouncing off a little bit. And then you're gonna come back to this note you started on, this A, above your G mark. Do a little dip up, skip down. So you're skipping that mark and then walking down. Skip. over to your A on your bass bridge. So this is the note just above your G mark. So again, that second run is gonna start on the same note, your A up above your G mark, your high G mark. Tip up, skip down. And then come straight across. So you're coming from above a mark to above a mark. You're going to your E um, this is right above the D in your D box. And just turn around it. Go up and then down. And then you're going to hop back up and play your first D chord again. So you're going to hop back up to that starting A. Go around your G mark. And then over to your D above that C mark. And then you play this first run again, which starts on this A. Tip up, skip down and then go back up to the A, and you're gonna walk down, and then skip. If you can hear the weird sound, it's the cat screaming. So that's the whole A part. You start on this A above your G mark, and you're gonna play a D chord over. So you're gonna skip around your mark, and then go over to over the mark. Back to your starting note, go up, skip, and this is your A above the G mark, straight across to that E, and then your first chord again, and your first run again, and then your ending run goes back up to that A, you walk down, and then skip. That's the A part. The B part is not going to start on a downbeat. So if you're tapping along, um, so if, if you're tapping, da, 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 that's your beat. So the part's gonna end. And then the B part. So here, I didn't play the run quite right because I can't move my hand that fast. But here how it's coming off. So there's going to be a downbeat, and then you're going to play. Um, I like to hit it with my left hand, because there's going to be a big jump in a second. So you're going to start on this D, your high D. This is um, your D mark. You can also do it up here um, above your C mark. And then you're going to go to your A. And that's a run you will probably recognize from the A part. So you're gonna hit your D mark to above A, tip up, and then skip your mark to come up or come down. Uh, your next run is gonna start either this A above your G mark or this A mark here, whichever you prefer. And then go to your E. So 
So up then down, and then cross over to below your C mark, and hit those two notes. So you're going between those two marks. Back up to D for your first part again. D to A, and then that familiar run. And then you're gonna play the ending of the A part again. And that's the whole B part. So you're gonna come up, we're gonna play through it one more time. Start on your high D in your D box, to that A above the mark. Skip the mark when you come down. And then your next one starts A to E. Go around that note and then skip over and play those two notes between the marks. Back up to the D for your first run again. And then this run again. And then your ending of your A part, which goes back up to this A. Down three, skip. And end. And that's the whole song. I think the piano gallery likes it.